And for more on this, we're now being joined by Sharad Chandra, founder in Power Edge Ventures, live from Bengaluru. Welcome to uh, We On, Mr. Sharad. Now, Bitcoin is closing in on uh, its record high reached in March with expectations calling the surge driven by Trump trade. What is your assessment and take on this? So if you look at the discourse around digital assets as far as U.S. elections is concerned, uh, it's, it has become more like a bipartisan issue where both uh, candidates from Republican and Democrats, they're supporting the case for uh, favorable regulation and uh, especially on the Trump side, because Trump wants to uh, create U.S. as the crypto capital of the world, uh, regardless of which side wins, whether Democrat wins or a Republican wins, uh, digital assets uh, will get a boost. And this is what is driving uh, Bitcoin prices. In, in fact, uh, the non-farm payroll data, which came just yesterday, it was disappointing. And that also led to rise in uh, Bitcoin's prices. But Mr. Chandra, can Bitcoin surge further and hit a fresh all-time high? Uh, very likely because, uh, as, as, as I keep on saying, regardless of the outcome of the election, uh, since both the, both the sides are in favor of uh, crypto-friendly regulations uh, and there's more institutional participation. In fact, yesterday, UBS, uh, it, it launched its uh, tokenized money market fund on Ethereum, the public blockchain. So there's a wider participation from uh, both incumbents uh, as well as uh, new fintechs uh, in this particular space. So I'm pretty hopeful that uh, this election will also give a boost to uh, the existing momentum of crypto and, and crypto adoption. My last question to you, Mr. Chandra. What is your outlook for cryptos post the US election, which is just later to take place in the next four days? So I, I remain uh, bullish uh, with the only caveat that if the bond yield prices go high, right, then uh, the Fed might have to uh, might have to use, start using its tools and that might uh, result in some of the tightening when it comes to uh, Bitcoin prices. So if the interest rates are, are not reduced uh, further, then it might lead to. Hmm. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chandra, for joining us on World Business Watch with your insights on this. Thank you.